with inverted wings, would an F1 car fly? So we've all heard the rumours then that F1 cars can drive on the roof of a tunnel given enough speed. Now this is a test similar to that. We're actually going to completely invert the downforce of a Formula 1 car, effectively replicating that test to see if we'll fly, to see if we'll take off the ground. Now, I did put in the title about the wings, that's because that's the easiest way to explain it, but actually we are inverting all of the downforce of the car. So in the game files, it gives us a, a figure of something like two for the downforce. We've done it to minus two, so we've literally just it completely inverted the car, all of the downforce, not just the wings. Let's get on the grid and let's see, with a full grid of AI, if we're going to take off. There we go then, on the grid, what is going to happen? We'll have a, should have a fairly normal launch, but as we start to build up speed, we'll probably find that we get lift instead of drag. But is it enough to make the car take off? Uh, I think... Oh, my God! What is... Okay, I mean, clearly, the racing point just took off. Ahead of us. I think that must have been a bit of contact. Bit of a crash there. Oh, come on, guys. Out of the way. Go, go. Oh, if Gazzy's backwards, that's why. Right. We'll go around them. Go around them. Have a little drift around them. And clearly, this car is going very light. Oh. So, clearly... It's creating some lift. Is it enough to make it take off, though? It's hard to know. Bit of a drift through that one. Magnus is coming back on track. Got passing all the way up, all the, already up to P10. For some reason, Lauren, why are they on the inside? How has that even happened? Right, let's build up some speed now and see what we can do. We just can't, we can't get the grip because, of course, the lift starts to lift the wheels off the track. And we then can't get enough, enough purchase on the track in order to, to see if we can take off. Of course, we need to be propelled by jet power or something, don't we? See if we can drift on this one, though. No, too fast. That's too fast. That's too fast. We're in the gravel. Let's see if we can get past these guys. Oh, Magnuson's just absolutely done us there. Charlotte Clark followed us in. Once again, just a huge amount of oversteer. These tyres are not contacting the floor. Albon's having a little spin there with his... I was going to say lack of downfall. So, I mean, with his lift, everyone's run off the track there. Oh, dear. Big drift. Big drift. Now, of course, in this, it's actually a penalty having more what would have otherwise been downforce because I've just inverted everyone's numbers. Effectively, what we're seeing here... Oh, God. Drift it through there, can we? No. Not quite. Yeah, what we're seeing is the cars with the higher downforce have actually got less lift. Although we are seeing Hamilton Vettel 1-2 at the moment. Let's see if we can get past him. See if we can build up some speed down this straight line. Of course, we should theoretically be able to go quicker than these guys because we should have less lift. Can we get up his inside? Going to try and outbreak it? No. No. No, oh God. We've been hit. We've been hit. I just want to see what happens here because I think they're all going to go off. Let's have a look. Yep. Yeah, sure enough. Absolute carnage. Ocon's gone off. Albon's come steaming in. Smashes into Ocon. Where's everyone else? There's a few more coming. There's Verstappen. We're actually still only seven somehow. Where is everyone? They're slowly coming around the track. Signs is going to scoot off. God, give me out. Oh, smashes Ocon there. Who's this? Williams needs to find a gap. Latifi's sliding off. It's like having ultra low grip surfaces. What's going to happen here? Oh, God. Right, I'm going to go. Go. I'm going to find a gap. I think there's a lot of cars now. Up here, what's going on here? What's, what is going on here? They're all just coming out. Of the right, come on. Let's have some racing, lads. Let's have some lift racing rather than downforce racing. <laughs> just drifting all the way down. I've just followed them in. Oh, nice to recover it, though, somehow. Around the outside of Carlos Sides. What a move. George Russell's up next. Can we get in with a drift through the final turn? Bit of contact. Another big drift. That could be a spin. It's not a spin. Of course, you're able to recover it, actually. That's why it's like a skid pan. It's because... You're able to recover it because as soon as you back off, your speed drops. And then you gain some grip. Right, come on. Let's see how quick we can go in a straight line. Let's see if we can take off. Not quite 144 kilometers an hour, but it's not enough. To 145 briefly, it's not enough to take off. Can we get it all stopped? No, we can't. I'm going to follow Albon into the gravel. Come on, Albon, mate. Let's go. Big slides. This is actually really fun to drive. Oh, oh dear. And we've crashed the game. We've crashed the game. Can't say I'm all that surprised, in all honesty. That was a pretty wild mod. Um, <laughs> we didn't get it to lift, though. Let's try something else to see if we can get the car to lift. Just before we get into that, I'm here to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that big red button down below. It does really help a channel of my size. I think about 85% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's you, please do subscribe down below. Let's get into the next idea. So here we go then, this is my second test. We're now in time trial mode, and we're around Spa Circuit. Now, the conditions are exactly the same, we've got the exact same mod on, we've not changed anything, but I've got a couple of little ideas. First of all, I've actually changed the DRS to give us extra 
uh, or, or to, uh, to take away some lift in a straight line, more than it normally would. So now when we open DRS, we should be able to get more rear grip, which we do indeed. And there you go. There goes the front end. The front end can lift. How quick do we need to go to make the front lift? About 160k or so. Oh, God. We've rolled. Why, why have we rolled? I don't know why we rolled. We're going to have to come to a stop. I think the car will reset. The game will reset us. There we go. So DRS gives us half of the amount of lift we normally get with the, with the inverted rear wing. So that enables the car to stick to the ground. And we just discovered that it was about 160 kilometers an hour. And the front end will take off. But that's not enough. I want, I want to get full flight. I want to get the rear end to take off as well. Now, theoretically, we should just be able to go up through a rouge. I don't think we're going to take off up through a rouge. There's not enough grip to carry the speed. Nope. And we have a spin. I'm going to open DRS. Going to build up as much speed as I can. And I'm going to shut DRS. Which should theoretically then give us back all the lift that we've lost with DRS. And we should take off. That's the theory. Let's give it a go. Right, DRS open. Let's see how much speed. Needs to get the car straight in first before the front wheels take off. Here we go. Right, let's do it. Front wheels taking off. Shut DRS. Oh, it sort of flipped us forward. Flipped us forward. Bit weird. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Not deterred. Not deterred yet. Needs to open DRS. There we go. Okay, let's build up a lot of speed this time. Open DRS. It's just flipping us forward. Weird. Weird. Right. New idea. New idea. I'm going to try and go backwards down there, Rouge. That's radio and actually, actually, etc., etc. However, we're going to try and go backwards down our rouge because there's a very sudden drop off the hill. I reckon if we've got, <laughs> it's barely even doing anything that time. Oh, we're back. Come on, come on, come on, car, please. No, we have to reset. I reckon if we've got enough speed, our rouge, the steep, the hill is steep enough that we can launch off it, and we'll just float. If we're right at the point where our wheels are just starting to just starting to take off, I think we'll just float. We'll float across Eau Rouge. Let's test it. Right, I'm going to try not to flip again, if I can help it. So how quick can we go? We can go probably 150. Yes, yeah, see, now look, the front wheels are doing nothing at all. <laughs> okay, right, come on, let's do this. Okay, we've lost DRS now, so we're going to have to be careful. Come on, surely we're going to take off. Come on, game. Let us fly. Let us fly. Let us fly. Yes, we flew. We flew. I'm pretty sure we flew. Did, did we fly? I'm pretty sure we just flew. Oh, better camera, please. Here we go. Oh, what's, what's that camera? No. We need a camera. Come on. Okay, we'll have to do an off-board. Yes, that's flight. That is flight, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. We are off the ground in a Formula One car. There it is. Just to confirm, I'm going to use my controller. And I'm going to have a little gander. And we're probably, probably, hopefully, going to, here we go, going to see. Yes, look at that. Clear ground clearance. We flew in a Formula 1 car. To answer the question at the top of this video, if you invert the downforce of a Formula 1 car, you definitely can fly. And the only reason we couldn't properly fly is because we couldn't propel the car because it started to lift. Um, if we had jet boosts on the car, we would easily be able to fly. One little Brucey bonus before we end this video. Is that actually, I would knew the answer to this because if I if I reset and I restart, what you'll find, restart lap, what you'll find is of course it starts you at a high speed. And we'll fly. Watch this. Right guys, that rounds out this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. This one was just a, a bit of fun really, but I mean quite clearly no team has been brave enough to try it. But you definitely could drive on the roof of a tunnel. Because inverted downforce in a Formula 1 car definitely can make you fly. So equivalent means you can revert, you can drive on the roof of a tunnel. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.